looking for a place that can give you the ultimate amount of tranquility. In this episode, we're going to unite our body and mind in a wellness retreat at Karanganya Regency Central Java. Come see the beauty! Only on Sea Indonesia. Woo! If you happen to be in Solo, you must visit Karang Anya Regency. With only around an hour drive from the airport, you soon get to see the lush beauty of Central Java, Indonesia. A must visit location here is the Kemuning Tea Plantation. Sitting at an altitude of more than a thousand meters above sea level, Kemuning boasts a breathtaking landscape. Uh, that's the view of Mount Lawu. If you like hiking, you can go hiking there from here to there to the hiking point is about 30 minutes. But I don't think we have that kind of time today. Even so, the view is really nice. And then the weather, <sighs> the fresh air. It's physically impossible to walk around this 437 hectare land. To make it more efficient, here you can rent a jeep, which conveniently can be found everywhere around the commuting area. This is fun! The plantation was established in 1840, not for tea, but for other commodity instead. Fun fact about the area, now it's famous for its tea, right? But initially, back then, the Dutch, before the area was taken over by the Mangkunegaraan, the Dutch used the area to plant coffee. So the area is quite famous for its coffee. And up until now, around 22 point something hectares around here is still used for local coffee. Mmm. The first tea factory here was established in 1925 by the Van Mandervoet family. However, the political situation and war soon put the ownership status of this land in a long, long kerfuffle. Today, the tea plantation is owned by Rumbun Sari Kemuning Company. Just a tea plantation. Now I'm going to go further. This is called Bajo Village, and we're heading to a waterfall. Ooh, are you excited? Jumo ah, Jumo waterfall. It appears that this waterfall is popular among tourists. You only have to walk around 100 meters to reach it. Take your time because the pathway around the streams are quite insta-worthy. The water is very clear and clean. It would be such a shame if I don't dip my feet into it. Ooh, it is very cold indeed since the water came straight from Mount Lawu. Before my leg turned to block of ice, let's walk further on this 116 steps to get closer to the waterfall. Ooh! Ooh la la! You know, once was called the lost paradise. That's because before it was officially opened in 2004, this whole area was covered in forest. Look at it now! The water on the twin waterfall plunge against 30 meters tall rocky cliff. Back to the tea plantation, I think it's only fair for us to taste the local tea. Whew. How to spend a delightful afternoon is to have some tea time. So, follow me. For that, come right away to Doro Donkor Tea House, where the tea is hot, 
but the breeze is cool. From the music, the ambiance, this is lovely. Lemongrass green tea. Sounds very delightful. Sounds nice. Maybe I should order this later. Itu dua ribu meter koleksi teh. Dan ini diracik sendiri di sini berarti? Iya, tapi di sini juga ada pabrik teh juga yang the seller dari kita itu YT paling langka, terus tanpa melalui pengolahan. Jadi benar-benar khasiatnya antioksidannya tinggi. This shabby chic house once belonged to a herbalist named Donker back in the 1700s. In 2011, the place was transformed into a tea house in honor wow. of her generosity. I'm on a dance because they play Tchaikovsky. Most importantly, they have a wide range selection of premium tea. Ah, so this is the tea I ordered. This is called the Serenity Lemongrass Green Tea. Mm. Oh, from the smell of it, I can already feel that serene. <laughs> and I can also see, also see the bits of lemongrass in it, so I can verify them. I think the lemongrass really bring a a nice aromatic like sweetness somehow. Mm, it's really good. And the green tea as well. It's smooth. Mmm, super crunchy. I love it. Mm. And that's the taste of a peaceful serenity.